Love it. All right, well, shall we get into the shizo? Let's do it. All right, first story. First story is one that I'm interested to hear your thoughts on. When a Mac fanboy meets Bill Gates, dot, dot, dot. 6,001 people dug this story, submitted by Go Leopards 1. Awkwardness ensues. So this is a, a this is a small picture of our wayward friend Kevin Rose standing next to That's the bad picture. The William Gates senior. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, so what was it like? So you went to the TED conference? Did you speak at the TED conference? No, or did you just go? No. <clears throat> I just And what I, was it like? <sighs> meeting Bill Gates. That's well, crazy, right? TED is a crazy conference to begin with. It's yeah. just nuts. What, Ted is... Um, it was in Long Beach. I should have gone. I didn't Beach. realize it was in Long Beach. It's freaking awesome. Um, so Ted is, is really nuts in that um, it, it's like, it's a very small group of people. Is it, it's technology, education, and design? Uh, is that what it stands for? Design. Entertainment and design? Technology, yeah. entertainment, and design? I believe so, yeah. Conference? Yeah. Um, and so basically it's a very small group. And once once you go there, everyone's just like kind of standing around walking around. Yeah. Um, and they're very open to talking to you. Because um, it, it's like you, the conference has to invite you to go, gotcha. and so if you get an invite to go, they kind of everyone assumes that like you have you're there for some reason cool. Right, right, like right. There's right. people that are like trying to cure cancer. There's people who are working in the environment. There's right. like you know everyone's there from it representing so underachievers, different industries. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so I'm kind of like just walking around and like you know. Larry Page from Google is yep. there, and like all these guys are just right here, and I'm like, oh shit, should I go up and talk to these guys? This was this was um, a lunch that uh, um, Chris Anderson, the guy that puts on the conference, invited me to, mm -hmm. um, and it was just like I don't know. There was about ten of us there, mm -hmm. um, and Gates and Larry Page were two of the guys. And then um, I guess these guys get together every year for lunch, but they invited two new people to uh, yeah. two new people this time. Yeah, and it was myself and Evan Williams, my buddy Ev, who uh, started Twitter. Oh, that's funny. And so, like, uh, I, I get there, and I'm just, like, sitting that, sitting down, and it's, like, all these executives from these, you know, crazy companies. Yeah. Uh, like, Dean Kamen and all those yeah, guys, yeah, you yeah. know? I'm sitting there at the table, I'm like, this is You're like, what am weird, I doing here? You know? I gotta get out of here. Exactly. And then Evan <clears> walks in, and, like, we're bros, and, like, we're both about the same age, you know? And yeah. I look across to him, I like, give him that look, like, what the fuck? Like, what are we here? <laughs> yeah. You know? um, but, but Gates was cool. I mean, he was really nice. He was just... Uh, he, he was like, he had heard a dig and he was like, hey, nice to meet you. And he shook my hand and, and we, were, we were talking at lunch about, um, about how to spread videos virally around the net and about hmm. how uh, people are reforwarding things. Like the new reforward is like retweet and talk about how dig and tw Twitter help spread, you know, videos out there. And, yeah. and he got in on the banter and was like going back and forth and like, cool. we're sitting there having dialogue because he's sitting across from me. And like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not arguing with him, but we're like going back and forth. I'm sitting yeah. there, and then all of a sudden I'm like, holy shit. Like I'm like. <laughs> I'm, You're like, that's Bill Gates that's from Bill Microsoft. Gates. I know, it's kind of weird. Yeah. But the cool thing is that he likes to joke around, he's funny, he's cool. Yeah. It's like, it wasn't, he, he didn't put off that vibe of like, I'm better than you or anything like that. He was yeah. just there to have a good time, you know? Hmm. It, was, it was pretty awesome. That's very interesting. Very yeah. interesting. But uh, yeah, so that was like my highlight of the trip. I thought that was cool. But the talks at TED.com, if you haven't had a chance. They're mind blowing. And they cover so much random stuff. Like it's, I watched the one on uh, the neuroscientist who had a brain oh, seizure. That's or my a favorite stroke. one. That's my favorite one. Had a one. stroke. And she literally talks through what it's like to have a stroke, knowing full well that you are a neurosurgeon or neuroscientist. That, study strokes so she knows exactly why things are happening and she's noting these things in her mind like oh he doesn't i understand him but he doesn't understand me that's interesting that's what it's like when people are talking who have had strokes you yes. know what i mean yes it's really cool and she yeah jill bolt taylor yes so um type go to ted.com click on talks and then, and then type it's in... It's My Stroke of Insight. My Stroke of Insight. Or you, you can just type in stroke in the search and it should be the first one. But the name of it is My Stroke of Insight. Yeah. I'm telling you, I don't know if you agree with this, but it's, it's one of the it's best one of the I've best. ever seen yeah. in my entire life. Agreed. Regardless of the Agreed. Test, TED conference. Agreed. It'll, you'll just, you'll just what, be uh, floored. What, so what, who does the TED conference? Well, is it just like a select group of people that have start that just started it themselves? It's actually been going on for about 25 years now. Oh, interesting. It's, it's been around for a long time, and you can watch some of the really old talks. Like they just yeah. had their 25 year anniversary, <clears throat> and like, I mean, 
this is the place where like they launch a lot. Like I remember, um, uh, was it uh, Negroponte talking about like the mouse? And this is like <laughs> in the funny. like in like the early '80s or late yeah. '70s, and he's like, soon we'll be using this device that will go like this, and like everyone's like, oh, mouse. everyone's like, boo, <laughs> boo. <laughs> It's like one of these Burn things. him! He's a witch. Uh, dude, I saw some <laughs> exactly. It, sa- it sounded like some crazy shit. Yeah. And dude, I saw the craziest stuff there. My, okay, so I just gotta tell you this one little quick story. There's this guy that gave this talk at TED this year, that has been researching geckos for a long time, and he's trying to figure out um, how they crawl up walls and they're, it's able they can stick to anything. Well, they found out that under a crazy microscope that it's billions of these little hail. <laughs> it's like, hey, little, what do you want to study? No, that's a crazy it's, it's microscope. Like, it's, billions, it's billions of these little hairs that oh. can like, that can like act like Velcro and stick to anything. Anyway, he created a, a synthetic version of this and tested them out for the first time. And I kid you not, there's this lady, they hooked her up to a harness, took her to a flat wall. She had the sticky hands on her hands and feet and Climbed straight up the wall like freaking Spider-Man, dude. What was that videotaped? Uh, it's not hasn't been released yet, but but dude, it's dude. Yeah, I, I bet you in ten years, there's gonna be gloves gonna be doing that. that we're gonna be able to put on and like run outside and just be like, like up the side of a wall. Dude, it's Spider-Man nuts. exists. It, like I saw it right there <clears throat> in, in, on the video. It was, it was so crazy, and they had it out in like the thing to go try out in the main area. Did you try it? No, I didn't try it. I Why find it. wouldn't I was looking you? For Are you it. kidding I know, me? I You're climb man. I know. You could free climb anything. There's so much shit to see though. It's like it's it's pretty cool. But anyway, that's cool, man. Fun times. Technology, entertainment, and design, design conference. Yeah. Thank you, Glenn. Maybe. You're welcome, Hippie. Well, good story. Welcome yeah. back. Thank you. Thank you. Your story. Next story of the day. Oh, no, I didn't see this. I've been... Off go the ahead. Do, do, we'll do, do the story introduction, and then I'll tell about Sony how. Sony releases new stupid piece of shit that doesn't fucking work. 4,373 people took this story. It's been by D2002. So this is Sony's new stupid piece of shit that doesn't fucking work. Let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look. Savvy consumers are lining up today to be the first to purchase Sony's brand new stupid piece of shit that doesn't do the goddamn thing it's fucking supposed to. (laughs) Onion News Network Tech Trends reporter Jeff Tate has more. Thanks, Brandon. It's being called the biggest fucking waste of your hard-earned money to come along in years. Sony's new stupid box thing hit the shelves at crowded malls and overpriced electronic stores around the country today. It's got a whole bunch more memory and megapixels and whatnot than any of the other TV shit that I already have. I can't wait to get home and spend my whole fucking night trying to figure the goddamn thing out. If you can somehow <laughs> claw and bite your way through the impossible to open packaging, this stupid piece of shit offers a wide variety of frustrating as hell functions, including flashing random fucking words and numbers on its display screen, not coming with the fucking little doohickey thing it's supposed to, and being goddamned ass backward as fuck. Sony spokesman Alan Compton said the company designed this sucking fucking goddamn thing to make oh, no, the Nera, please restart. want to tear their fucking eyeballs out. We listened hard to what our customers said they wanted the most out of their own ha- home entertainment system, and then we pumped out this impossible to use fucking piece of shit. Anyone mystified <laughs> by the device's numerous extraneous features can scroll through the interactive help menu, a labyrinthine maze of indecipherable topics of use to fucking no one. We want people to be screaming in unison from houses across the country, work, Work, you cocksucking piece of shit. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why can't you work like a normal machine? With a $100 million nationwide campaign to plaster irritating ass advertisements for the retarded hunk of garbage in every this? single goddamn place you look, Sony is expecting it to become the next fucking gizmo you absolutely have to fucking own if you don't want to feel like a toothless hillbilly living in some hillbilly shack somewhere. I love bullshit like this. Yeah, I, basically, I'll buy any goddamn thing that I see in an ad. The fucking piece of shit is available now. That is so somebody. run out and pick one up and invite all of your friends over to see if Suck. any of them can figure out this motherfucking time vampire. Unless one of them is a rocket vampire. scientist, Sony pretty much guaranteed fucking tease they'll have no chance. For the Onion News Network, I'm Jeff Tate. Thanks, Jeff. Sony says they plan to release an upgraded 800 gigabyte version of this piece of shit by the end of the year, (laughs) just when you figured out the goddamn remote control for this one. It never ends, this shit. (laughs) Dude, how awesome was that? Bruh, first off, the the Onion videos have become one of my favorite things ever. Oh, absolutely. The mouse wheel, the 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 Mac Mac wheel. wheel. The fuck, did you see the World of World of Warcraft? Yes. 
Bro. <laughs> the World of World of Warcraft. Genius. I know. These guys are freaking they, genius. They put so much production value and time into like <clears throat> creating these. Oh, but they they here's the thing. This is an example of usually on the web you get you get sort of there's two types of videos, right? Mm -hmm. Really smart and funny videos, right. and really well produced videos. And, well, and there's three, and there's random acts of strange, funny shit. Right. Now, that stuff I kind of put, <laughs> but I mean like produced right, video. Produced, right, right, right. Like, I have a joke idea, I'm going to make a video about right. it. You either College get, Humor's gotten really good at that, The Onion's College gotten Humor's really gotten, gotten really good at that. Um, but College Humor is sort of low on the production side. They're sort of like, let's just do it. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, but The Onion is this weird mix that is, I think, pretty rare on the internet, which is high quality, well produced, really funny. Right, and Because even Saturday Night Live's like digital shorts right. will fall flat I oftentimes. Know. Did you see they, Jizz they My have Pants? Some, right, Jizz My Pants and Lazy Sunday. <laughs> That's been, they put one out every week or oh, every two days. Yeah, that. there's tons of them that just go. Brr, brr. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, they did? Yeah, it's just. A,